Here I have the Never Wet spray from Rust-Oleum and I have two pieces of uh, anti-skid truck stepping. One piece I'm going to be putting the Never Wet on and the other piece I'm going to treat with the Never Wet and see if there's any kind of residue that accumulates as I'm thinking about putting it on my ATV seat or on one of my racks to see for water repellency. I'm going to go in and test the or show the water repellency of one of the pieces of the rubber for right now and then I'll treat the other piece and record that. Okay now I have this other piece of rubber here I'm going to spray. Don't mind the vibration in the camera I'm shaking up the base coat. You can see it's the step one base coat. I actually have it on a piece of concrete that's directly beneath uh, my spigot here in the backyard so that I can see if you know if there's any overspray if that's gonna see how it repels on concrete also. So I'm gonna spray that on there. Okay. I'm gonna let that dry for about oh a half an hour it says in the instructions minimum. So I'll let that dry there and uh, then I'll go ahead and put the top coat on. Okay, so there it'll stay for a while. Okay, now that it's nearly dark, it's about half an hour later, I'm going to put the step two on on this rubber piece. I'm also going to do uh, my Merrill shoes here and also I'm going to do this plastic beat up chair just because I always sit on it. And Sorry about that, this chair is always covered with water when I need it. So, here we go. Instructions say two coats in the opposite direction, so that's what I'm going to do here. I have the step two here. And I'm going to do this real quick. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to do the other ones off camera. Hopefully I'll be able to show you the, a good end result. Okay, as you can see here I have two pieces of rubber. Um, the one on the bottom here nearest to you is obviously the one with the never wet on. You can see that it really uh, did let a, a pretty blue and a, uh, a frosted coating on it. Um, and I did put a little extra on this, probably more than I should have. So just word to the wise, if you do use this, go light. I'm going to do a water test here. I'm going to turn the water on the sink. Um, this is just the uh, piece of rubber that um, hasn't been treated. You see it, it runs off pretty good off of that. I think there might be some residual oil on that from the factory. Now this is the piece from uh, Never Wet. With never wet treated, you can see the water just bounces off of it. it. Doesn't even stick to it. Doesn't even give it a chance to stick to it. It's just right on there and off it is. Yeah. Pretty neat stuff. Okay, if you can see my shoes here, it get a little bit of blue color to them. Uh, not so bad. I'm gonna try them out. You can see nothing is sticking to them. Which is the idea. Sorry for the spotty camera work. It's just rolling right off. Nice and dry. Well, here's that chair I did. It has a touch of a glaze over it. Not much, um, but it is slightly noticeable. Maybe I put it on a little too much. I think it's kind of a general rule, or my general uh, faux pas with putting this stuff on, is uh, how much I put on a little bit too much. Anyhow, um, here's a test for it. And as you can see, that water is not sticking. cool. And I'll 
shake it off, I'm sure it'll be right dry. In fact, let's just try it. Dry. There you have it. It's a good star for that one. Okay, so here we are the next day, and we have, you can see where the uh, rubber piece was. The water's all beaded up. In fact, I'm going to shoot it with the hose, uh, and you'll see where the overspray was. And just how it rolls right off of there. You can see the water is really beaded up on there. So my conclusion with the Never Wet is that I wouldn't use it on anything rubber. As you can see, really see here um, how frosted the piece of rubber got. Now this is a little exaggerated, uh, partly due to the lighting I have in this place, but. Um, yeah, I'd never use it on that. I uh, use it on something that, um, you know, like hunting boots, um, something you don't really mind if they get a touch discolored, maybe even work boots. I don't even know if I would use these on hunting boots. Um, uh, but on the plastic chair, I'll, I'll have to get out tomorrow, um, try it out, um, see if check the overspray on the sidewalk too. Um, overall, the stuff works great. Um, of course, says you can use it on anything. I think there's limited applications which you can just because of the frosting and the blue hue that lets on things. Okay, uh, if you have any questions uh, feel free to submit and have a great day. Bye-bye.